Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if it's your first time, hello, you're welcome. And if you're one of my subscribers, I thank you very much for your support. Now, what have I got for you today? I have got another Designing on Computer video. Um, I've shown you how to design with Infinity. And in this video, I show you how to drop real glass samples into your Affinity designs and it just looks wonderful and it gives you so much scope and your designs will end up looking like real stained glass windows which really looks good for your clients by the way. Um, so I've, I've shown you Rapid Resizer where you can do that, I've shown you Photoshop where you can do that and um, so I thought I would just end off with Affinity and um, I hope you find it useful. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, any comments, I always love your comments. And please like, comment and subscribe. So here we have just an A4 sized um, new file. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to draw a few of the preset shapes. Uh, I need to give this side, this uh, line a width and um, we'll just draw so you can see there we are. So three shapes which I will now fill Let's just check they haven't got a fill already. Fill, yes, let's get rid of that. So that will remove the fill. Do the same here. You don't always know till you check because of course the default fill is white. There we go. So very exciting. I'm gonna show you how to fill these shapes with your glass samples. So you select your shape. So let's start with this square. Then you go File and you go Place. And now you select your glass. Now I know that I downloaded these yesterday. Let's pick red. We like red, don't we? There it is. Open. Now it's waiting for you to tap somewhere. I'm going to tap here. Can you see it's on top of the square? Well, we move it under the square by either moving this lower or moving the square higher. So let's move that layer higher. But as you can see, my glass is just too big. Now, watch very, very carefully what I'm doing with this layer panel. I'm going to pick up this glass and I'm going to hover over the rectangle layer at the end there. Now, can you see it's popped inside? I'm going to now take my finger off the trackpad and that is set. Now, this little arrow down, if I tap that, it expands and contracts the layer. Because what I can do, I'll show you, if I open that layer up so I can see the glass layer and then I, I've got that glass layer selected there, I can move this around. Now the reason that is so useful, especially with glass, is because let's just make this glass really big. Now maybe I'm going to select just a really pale bit like that. You see what you can do there? Okay, so let's leave that at that. And I'll show you again with the circle. Now you can either select the circle by tapping on the circle, or you can select it in the layer panel. So there it is selected. File, whoop, file, place, go to my recents, and let's do green. And you do open, and then 
You see that little arrow? It's waiting for you to download it. There it is. It's too small. Let's stretch it. I'll put it over the circle. Again, you've got to put this green behind the layer with the circle on. So last time I moved the shape up. Now I'm going to use uh, the um, layer with the glass on and move it down. Now watch very closely what's going on over here. I pick it up by pressing and moving my cursor and then you hover, there we go, towards the end of the word ellipse. And I've still got my finger pressed on the trackpad. It is showing what I want to see, so I'll now release my finger. And there it is. And again, I can move this so I get just the bit of glass I want. And we will just do this one more time with this shape. So I will select it in the layer panel. I will go File. I will go Place. I will select my glass. Now this glass I downloaded off the website of Lead and Light yesterday because I was doing some work and I needed, um, I needed some glass colours. Um, and the great thing is, I know Lead and Light sell this glass. So anything I take off their website, I know I can buy. So let's use this water glass. Open. Download. Stretch it a bit. I will move that layer under my shape. Then, watch very carefully, because this is quite tricky. If you put it here, it doesn't work. If you put it here, something really odd happens. Don't know what that's doing. You have to put it right at the end of the word, sort of where the end of the brackets are. There you can see it's popped inside. Isn't that lovely? There it is. So, now you can see that if you draw a shape in Affinity, you can actually colour it in with glass. So exciting. I'm just going to move this red so it's a different blend. Why not? There we go. So it's all ultimately and completely editable. Um, and it's going to make your designs really look like stained glass windows. So I hope that was helpful. It took me a whole day <laughs> to figure that out. Um, and um, actually, I'm really pleased with it. So um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, and I love to hear your comments.